Hi everyone, I'm trying a new format, a quick 5 minute CSS tutorials. I want to make a couple of Star Wars inspired coding tutorials this month to celebrate 3 big Star Wars releases coming to us this and next month. In this video we will code the opening crawler credits from The Last Jedi. In the next tutorial I want to create a small video game, I have 2 or 3 different JavaScript games in mind, I'm still deciding on details. You can watch my other CSS tutorials if you want to improve your front-end coding skills. Also, I have a bunch of pure vanilla JavaScript animation tutorials if you want something a bit more complex and exciting. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and click the bell icon, you know the drill. This will be a quick one, let's start. In index.html we'll install a CSS file and create our HTML markup. Inside the body tag we create a div with a class of container that contains a div with a class of credits. Inside credits we will have a div with a class of headings that will contain h1 and h2 elements, our titles. Then I create three paragraphs and add some text. In style CSS file I set style for body, black background, text color will be ffbe00 to match the iconic Star Wars font. Font family used in the movies is called News Gothic, but this is not available from free online resources. Let's make it sans serif, which is similar enough. Font size will be 5, viewport width, line height 1.3 and overflow hidden. I will give the container margin 0 auto, perspective 380 pixels. CSS perspective property defines how far the object is away from the user. The lower the perspective, the more intense skewed 3D effect you will get as we are looking at the object from very close distance. I will set perspective origin to bottom. This property determines the position at which the viewer is looking. When combined with rotate x and translate 3D, we will get the angle we are looking for. I'll show you in a minute. I set position to absolute, top 0, bottom 0, left 0 and right 0. Overflow will be visible and a transform scale y 0.9. Credits will be set to position absolute, top 0, left 13%, right 13% and height 100%. We will also give it animation I called play. I will define it in a minute. This animation will take 20 seconds and repeat infinitely. Heading container will have margin bottom 5 rem to create some space between headers and paragraphs. H1 font size 2.5 rem, text align center. H2 font size 3 rem to make it slightly bigger, text transform uppercase, text align center. Paragraph will have padding of 0.5 rem top bottom and 0 left right. To make it move in the right angle, I declare keyframes for our animation I called play and attach the credits diff earlier. It will have three breakpoints. At 0% we will start at transform rotate x 21 degrees, translate 3D 0, 100 rem 0 and opacity 1. Translate 3D repositions element in 3D space. It takes three values, x, y and z axis. As you can see, I set x to 0, y to 100 rem and z to 0. The second breakpoint will just make sure the opacity is kept at 1 until this point at 85% of animation. Final 100% breakpoint will set transform rotate x 21 degrees, translate 3D 0, minus 150 rem 0 and opacity to 0. You can see we are basically pushing the element along the y axis upwards with translate 3D. The reason we declare rotate x in our animation even though it doesn't change is because it is part of transform property which contains translate 3D that is being animated. In CSS transforms like rotate, skew and translate are all part of one transform declaration which means when we change one we have to redeclare all of them otherwise we lose the values. I heard a change is coming that will give us all of these as separate independent properties. Stay tuned for more Star Wars coming soon. Don't forget to like the video if you like this type of content. If you want more coding, check out my CSS and JavaScript animation playlists. See you next time.